In a previous tutorial, we took a look at importing an audio file of a kick, snare, clap, etc. into Logic, and then triggering that as a sampler instrument from your keyboard to play in a part. There's a link in the description if you haven't seen that tutorial yet. But what about those instances where you want to import a sample and have it automatically pitch up and down the keyboard so that you can play it on any key at different pitches? What's going on, voiceover warriors and keyboard ninjas? Welcome back to Logic Band, a site full of tips, tricks, and tutorials to help you as a blind or visually impaired Logic, GarageBand, macOS, and voiceover user. Check out the blog at logic.band and subscribe. So today we're gonna to take a look at importing an audio file into the quick sampler so that you can pitch a sound up and down across your keyboard. All right, so here we are in Logic and I got a snare sample imported on track two. Track two semantics, Eternity snare two, C. One bar one. So that's the snare that we just imported right there. So this works a little differently than when you're using sampler. So before with the sampler, you could just do control E. This time we actually need to go into the track contents area and select that audio region and drag it over to the track headers. And we're gonna do that by using the mouse down command, the voiceover mouse down command. And that is VO shift command space. So I'm gonna stop interacting with the track headers here. Out of tracks header, group. Tracks contents, group. Go into track contents, interact with the track contents area. In tracks contents, group. Three items, track one classic electric piano, track background. And now I'm gonna find the track background for the track in question here. Track two semantics, eternity snare two, C, track background. So we got the track background for the track that has the audio region that we wanna bring into the quick sampler. So I'm gonna interact with this. In track two semantics, eternity snare two, C, track background, semantics, eternity snare two, C, one, region. And I'm gonna do VO, shift, command, space to mouse down on this. Mouse down on semantics, eternity snare two, C, one, region. All right, so now I'm gonna stop interacting with the track background area. Out of track two semantics, eternity snare two, C, track background and stop interacting again to stop interacting with the track contents Auto tracks area. contents, group. Now if I press the VO left arrow to move over to the track headers. Track window, system dialog. It brings up the system dialog. And if I VO right through this. Quick sampler, original, button. This is asking us what sampler we want to import the sample into. So if I VO left, you can hear the dialog. Create new track using. Create new track using. So now we can use. Quick sampler, original, button. Quick Sampler Original. Quick Sampler Optimize button. And Quick Sampler Optimize. And I will generally start with Optimize. Optimize should try to guess the correct pitch and then drop that on the right key and then pitch it up and down from there. So I'm gonna go Optimize. I'm just gonna view space on this. One bar, one beat, one division, one tick. Track three, semat Semantics, Eternity Snare 2, C, one, Dialog. Semantics, right. Eternity Snare 2, C, one. So now this opens up the Quick Sampler and we should have the sample ready to be played on a new software instrument track. So if I reach over here to my keyboard. I'm gonna shift the octave up. Octave plus two. You see that sounds more like a snare up there. And if I shift this up one more. Octave plus three. Now, what you're probably noticing is that the sample gets really short the higher up they go and they get longer the lower down they go. So if I shift my keyboard octave down again. Octave plus one. Octave zero. So you see those samples are really long down there. So a way you can get around that is by turning on flex in the sampler. So right now we got the sampler open already. So I'm just gonna navigate here. Toolbar, button, bypass, check, check factory diff previous, but next, compare, check, view, met link, on check, table, amp table, amp volume, zero decibel slider, 90.9% .9 slider, selected. If you don't see this table of parameters when you go all the way to the right, you need to go back to the view menu. So I'm gonna view left link, here. Link, on view, menu button, menu, three items. View space on the view menu. Check mark, controls and go down to controls and make sure controls is checked. So I'm gonna hit escape to close that. Divider, dim, closing menu, view, menu button. So now we go right back over to the parameters. Link, uncheck, table, table, amp volume, zero decibel slider, 90.9% .9 slider, selected. So I'm gonna interact with this table. In table. And we're looking for flex, and flex is somewhere down towards the middle of this table. So I'm just gonna VO down arrow through this. Course tune, fine tune, glide time, filter, filter cutoff, filter resin, filter drop, filter type, LFO1 fade, LFO1 rate, LFO2 rate, 
Filter envelope attack. Filter envelope decay. Filter envelope sustain. Filter envelope release. Amp envelope attack. Amp envelope decay. Amp envelope sustain. Amp envelope release. Filter envelope depth. Pitch envelope depth. LFO1 target depth. LFO1 target via. LFO2 target depth. LFO2 target via. Mod matrix slot. Mod matrix slot 2. Mod matrix slot 3 depth. Mod matrix slot 4. Amp pan. Zero. Amp envelope hold. Amp envelope velocity. Filter envelope hold. Filter envelope velocity. Pitch envelope attack. Pitch envelope hold. Pitch envelope decay. Pitch envelope sustain. Pitch envelope release. Pitch envelope velocity. LFO1 phase. LFO2 fade. LFO2 phase. Row 45 of 80 empty cell. Quantize modulation. Sample S E quantize. Loop S E quantize. Loop position quantize. Row 50 of 80 empty set. Modulation ranges. Show below editor. On sample S E modulate. Loop S E modulate. Loop position modulate. Row 56 of 81. Flex. Uncheck checkbox. And there we have it. Flex. So if I check this. Check flex. Checkbox. So just feel based on flex. So now if I play this. You see the lower notes are just as long now. They're not longer. Octave plus three. Go up a few octaves and. So the longer notes are the same length. So you want to turn flex on to keep your samples that way. All right. So I'm going to close this window. Now in DS track tracks contents group tracks header group. Let's go back to the track in tracks header group track three semantics eternity snare two C. And so that's our instrument track. Track two semantics eternity snare two C. And that's the track with the actual snare that we imported. So that's one way you can take advantage of using a quick sampler. And there's another method which we'll get into. But I just wanted to let you know, this is a sneak peek of a course that I'm working on, going into depth on producing beats with Logic. So please consider signing up for the mailing list so I can let you know when that is available. Also, if you want to go more in depth with some of the stuff that we didn't cover in this tutorial, visit logic.band slash training book a one-on-one -on -one session and we can take a deep dive into all things with the sampler and quick sampler all right so now let's take another look at a different way to bring in a sample into quick sampler and that is using a keyboard meister macro that liam created and that will allow us to just open the quick sampler hit a command it will open the load dialog and we can just browse to the sample we want to use so that saves us from having to first import the audio file into logic and then click and drag it over to the track headers but it also gives us access to a couple other controls that aren't the most accessible to get to in the sampler follow the link in the description to download the keyboard maestro macro and you can install it you should just be able to click on it and it will install into Keyboard Maestro if you have Keyboard Maestro installed. So once you have those macros installed, you can create a new software instrument track. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So I'm going to do Command Option S. Track for classic electric piano. Track for classic electric. Track for classic electric. Get a classic electric piano track here, and I'm actually going to do Command Option Return to blank that out. That uh, resets the software instrument track to a blank software instrument track. So Track for classic electric piano. Group. Even though it still says its name, Classic Electric Piano, you'll see that it's actually a blank track when I jump into the mixer. So Command-2 to go into the mixer. Now in, DS, Mixer, Tracks, Window, Classic Electric Piano, Partially Hidden, Channel Strip Group. And you see we're on the channel strip for that track already, so I'm going to interact with In Classic with Electric Piano. And I'm going to press VO Home to jump to the top Classic of Electric track. Setting, Button. And VO Right Arrow, back over to where I can select a new instrument for this track. Off, Gain Reduction Meter, Off, EQ, MIDI Plugin, Button, Ins, Button. All right, there we go, Ins. So that's the spot you want to add a new software instrument to this track. So if I view space on this. Menu 32 items to recent, dim, quick sampler, single sample, sub menu. There's a quick sampler. Once I'm on this, I can just hit return to pull up the quick sampler. Quick sampler, single sample, check. Classic electric piano, dialog. And the track is still called classic electric piano. That's why I'm saying that. So I'm going to view right arrow here. Toolbar, button, bypass, check, check, box, factory default, previous, button, next, button, compare, dim, dunk, view, menu, button. And I'm going to make sure this is an editor view. So I'm going to view space on this view button. Menu, check mark, control, editor. Switch it to Press editor, editor view, menu button. because these macros need editor review to work. Now you enable the macro with command option control shift Q that turns the macro on for use. Application activated. You heard it say application activated. So now if I do control L. Menu, six items. No, oh, list one item selected. Black amp one logics, group one of five. All right, so that just opened up the load dialog. And so I'm going to out of column view browser one vertical splitter cyber table no selection vertical so split cyber table sidebar. no select in cyber table I'm going to look for my loops drive here Dropbox recent application down iCloud expanded three I, I desktop D locations expanded loops and samples eject eject button level there we two go. loops and samples VLJ in column view browser number that puts me back in the column number ninety nine s zero three five underground L loops, loops folder eighty seven underscore late underscore 
Sam sync sync loops group. Sync loops. One thousand. My somatics folder is the nearest. Sy line. Somatics group. There we go. Somatics. Thirty heavy and unique eight oh eight. And let's go with one of one of these eight oh eight. Eight hundred eight one ewa group. Classic electric piano. View. All right. So now I got that eight oh eight loaded up. All right. And now if I jump up here in pitch. Octave plus four. go down octave plus one so you see they're much longer the lower down you go so once again you can turn flex mode on like we did earlier the other thing to notice is when I press and hold the key here the sample plays for as long as I hold the key so if I press the key and let go immediately the sample doesn't play for very long. So that's classic mode. If you want to put it in one shot mode where it plays the whole sample, no matter how long you press the key, you can hit control O to switch it to one shot mode. So I just hit control O and now I'm going to just tap the key and you see it's still holding a note, even though I'm no longer holding the key down, that note's still playing out. So now I'm going to switch this back over to controls view so I can turn on Link, flex. Uh, view, menu button, menu controls. All right. Press controls, view, menu button. Back in controls, Link, view. uncheck table, table, amp volume, and let's turn on flex in table. again. Of course, five glass, fill, 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 it's still letting the notes ring out all the way. So I'm actually gonna out of table link on check checkbox view menu button menu check mark control editor switch that back to editor press editor and now I can do control C switch that back to classic but now when I jump up to a higher octave so the notes still hold out just as long, but then I can still. So that's pretty much it. You have two ways of working with the quick sampler. You can import an audio file into Logic and then go into the track contents area, mouse down on that audio file with VO shift command space, and then stop interacting with the track background area, track contents area, navigate over to the track header with VO left arrow, and you should get a dialog that pops up that asks you if you want to use a quick sampler, original quick sampler optimize, as I said earlier, I recommend using Optimize in that case. The next option you have is grabbing the Keyboard Maestro macros if you have Keyboard Maestro installed. And then you can just create a new software instrument track. I recommend resetting that track to a blank track first with Command Option Return. If you're using the Logic Keyboard Ninja Key commands, it's going to be Command Option Return to blank out a track to reset a track to be a blank track. And then once you do that, you can go into the channel strip in a mixer, go to the slot where you can pick an instrument that you want to load to that track, load up the quick sampler, make sure you put it in editor view. Then you'll have to activate the keyboard maestro macros with control option shift Q. Once you do that, you can then use control L to load, control C to switch to classic view, which it should be in by default. Control O to switch to one shot view and one shot is where it will play the whole sample no matter how long you hold the key down for. And there are other options in there. Check the README file that is available with the macros so you can see what some of the other commands are. And once again, don't forget to turn the macro off once you're done using it. Once again, you can hit Control Option Command Shift Q. And if you're using Control Option as your voiceover modifier keys, you will need to do control option tab as your voiceover pass through before you can do control option command shift Q to enable or disable the keyboard maestro macro. That's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for checking this out. If you'd like to support the channel, you can do so by making a donation at paypal.me slash logic.band, link in the description below. You can also get some one-on-one -on -one training if you want to dive deep in any of these topics surrounding Logic, or if you're new to Mac and want to get up to speed with voiceover, you can visit logic.band slash training for some one-on-one -on -one tutoring. And once again, there is a link to that in the description below. Also, don't forget to check the description below for a link to relevant tutorials here on YouTube and or to the blog on 
logic.band that has some supplemental information for this tutorial. Hope you found that useful and helpful. Please feel free to like and subscribe and share this with someone you know who's new to Logic and voiceover. As always everyone, until next time, happy recording.